everyone, my name is Jessica Whitaker. I'm a photographer from New York City and today I'm here with Hannah and we are in Washington State doing um, some bridal portraits. But what's unique about this shoot is I'm going to show you guys 20 different poses that you can use with your brides. This video is perfect for beginner photographers or those who just want to brush up. I'm going to walk you through them step by step and there'll be examples on the screen of the finished product. Make sure you go follow Hannah over on Instagram and go follow the florist, Miller Bowman. If you want to view the full set of images, the final result, go check out my website below in the description box. We'll have it linked down there. I'm just shooting with my Canon 5D Mark IV and my Sigma 35 Art lens. Just subscribe for more photography videos and let's get started. Okay guys, before we get started, a surprise, I actually wanted to share with you, um, my friend Trey Cockrum has just released his first ever wedding photography course, online course, um, all about how to get started in the wedding industry. And he's offering my followers and those who are members of my Build and Bloom Facebook group, 20% off the whole course when you use the code Bloom at checkout. What's unique about this online course is actually there's GoPro footage from actual weddings as well as audio um, from phone conversations inside contracts with brides. He interviews other photographers and Facebook marketers so there's a lot of other perspectives on his own. So it's super super handy and what's really awesome about this course is that it's continually updated throughout 2018. There will be changes and things added, more resources added in just as the industry evolves and of course you have lifetime access. So with that being said go check it out. We'll have it linked down below in the description box as well as in a pinned comment and don't forget that you can use the code BLOOM to get 20% off of the online course. If you're interested at all in jumpstarting your wedding photography business this upcoming year, definitely, definitely take a look into this. It's an excellent investment. I would recommend it to anyone who's just getting started. So with that being said, let's hop right into the video. All right, everyone. So we're going to start out with some very basic poses. She's going to be holding the bouquet with two hands. The reason being is that it just gives her something to do. A lot of the times brides, you might feel that they're nervous or anxious or they don't have to worry about what their hands are doing. I feel like that's always for me. I'm like, what do I do with my hands? Um, and so yeah, and we're gonna start out with this. So first thing we're gonna do a full body shot where she's just looking at me and then we're gonna move into a torso um, shot where we still have the bouquet right in front. Then we're gonna end with a closer headshot and there you have three already and then I'm gonna show you guys how you can mix it up by not even changing the pose, making it look like a whole different photograph. One big thing to keep in mind, especially if the dress has a lot of detailing on the chest, um, always have the bouquet kind of low so that you can see the neckline of the dress. Perfect and smile big, beautiful. So good. It's like you've done this before. <laughs> Perfect. So pretty. And then smile really big. It's your wedding day. Eee, good. So cute. Now we're gonna change up the photograph by not actually moving um, the bride at all. You're just gonna switch from shooting vertically to horizontally and also playing more with the rule of thirds. Um, this can just mix up your photo and make it look different. And also I think it's really important, especially on the wedding day, to have a lot of variation with more basic poses. So I'm gonna scoot pretty far back and I'm playing with the framing here. I wanna get this window in and I also wanna get a little bit of this garage door. So that's two, and then I'm going to scoot in again and do um, horizontal torso, beautiful. And then look down at your bouquet, amazing, and smile big too, yeah, perfect. And now look out at the field, beautiful. So that's like three, and then I'm going to do a closer hip shot. So I'll have you bring the bouquet up, perfect. So there you have it. You have now a lot of different options and your brides can be super happy. So let's move into some three quarter shots. Make sure to show that. Put on the ground, perfect. Okay, so now you're gonna face that direction, but then turn your torso towards me. Yes, okay, beautiful. And tilt your head this way. Amazing. Wow, really big. Beautiful, and look up that direction. Yeah, so good. Now I'm gonna have you um, kind of almost face the wall more and then look back at me. Yes, perfect, perfect. Now lift your face up. Yep, beautiful and smile big. So there you have that. Now let's do the next set of poses. Okay, so now we're gonna do another three quarter shot, but this time um, we don't have the bouquet and I'm gonna have her hands up by her face. So, and then reach your right hand across your chest and then with your left hand, bring it up to your face. Perfect, and then tilt your face back. 
Beautiful. So good with the wind. And then playing again with the roll of thirds. So I'm gonna have you look kind of over your shoulder again. Beautiful. And then look down. So good, Hannah. All right, so now I'm gonna teach you um, two close-ups that you can do with the face. At this point, you're kind of like a third of the way through your bridal portraits, and I feel like your bride will be comfortable at this point to have all the attention on the face. I feel like when you have the bouquet or she's holding the dress, it's a nice activity, kind of distracting to do, but now you're prepared for that close-up. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have you put your right hand around your left wrist, and then put your left wrist up on your face, and then just kind of tilt to the side. Yeah. And this way you can also get the ring right in there. Okay, beautiful. And smile really big. We're going to do one without the hands in the frame. I'm just going to have you look straight at me. Um, and then, actually, I'm going to have you turn your torso a little bit more. And then have you look right down and kind of tilt your head so I get the eyelashes. Now bring one of your hands up and kind of play with your hair a little bit. Yeah, so good. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into some full body shots, So this time it's gonna be kind of mixed up a little bit. Hannah, with your right hand, I'm gonna have you kind of put it down by your dress and fluffing it out. So then with your left hand, I'm gonna have you kind of have it um, just be falling down. Yep, and still pointing up. Perfect. You're natural, you know. <laughs> Thank you. So pretty. Oh my gosh, and then look down. Yeah. Okay, so for my next uh, posing tip, I'm gonna have you Hannah face your profile straight to the wheat field. <laughs> a really big tip I have with brides, especially when they're looking to the side with their bouquet, don't have, or even just like down, don't have that front arm locked. Then have you like awkwardly kind of lock your. See how unflattering that is? Uh, it just looks too like stiff. Um, so I'm gonna have you right there. That just looks like a lot more natural. So try to do that. Um, even with bridesmaids, anyone where they're facing and you just see that front arm, it's just more flattering. And then look back out at the field. And again, I'm just shooting on 1.4 for this. I'm going to do um, one of her sleeve. You're doing so good, Hannah. Okay, so now I'm going to do the flower crown. Tilt your head up slightly. Yeah, yeah. My next tip is going to be working with the environment, so the unique little areas um, in your venue or location that you think are just really cool little pockets for more artsy photos. So we did a lot of the traditional kind of must-have shots, but now you might have like an extra 15-30 minutes <laughs> to shoot, so why not do some more unique shots? Gorgeous. So, so, so pretty. Okay, now I do want to do um Let's come over by this window and we'll do more of like a serious photo. So you can just be even more artsy with the expression. So instead of being like super happy and smiling, you can just do more serious ones. Um, beautiful, yes. I'm gonna take the bouquet and I'm gonna shoot through the bouquet and do like a close up of Hannah's face. So I'll actually have you put your hands back up where your right wrist is um, around your left hand and then put it by your face, yeah part your lips a little bit amazing and then look down beautiful so pretty and then after that um, you might find that you have a lot of other poses in mind and you can kind of get more creative but this way you have all of the more traditional poses that they need for like Facebook you know what I mean let's do I'm gonna have you turn your torso fully towards me and then when you're holding the bouquet this time um, I'm going to have you almost like wrapping your arms around it. Okay. And then holding it like kind of close to your chest. I know it's going to be like, I feel like kind of a weird pose. So good, yes. And just like do another really big squeeze to it. Yeah, 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 perfect. And then look at me, beautiful. Perfect. See how I put the flowers on this side up against the pole instead of with the raspberry bushes because they would get lost within the raspberry bushes it's just two similar colors it pops a lot more there's more contrast <clears throat> there's more contrast so be mindful of that okay you're doing so well. Ooh, let's actually have 
the back like shoulder kind of yeah okay y'all <laughs> okay what the heck this looks hannah you look so good okay this is seriously amazing What if we did one where I'm ready to turn completely to the side? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then with both, yep, and just swing the book out first. All right, everyone, so that was it. That was our shoot. Thank you so much, Hannah. You're the perfect model. Thank you. Thank you to Miller Bowman Designs for the flowers. The full set of images will be down below in the description box. Go check that out. They're on my website. Go follow Hannah, go follow the florist, and if you need anything else, it's all down below. Make sure to subscribe for more photography videos, and I'll see you guys soon.